he is a player, but he's not good at the game. That's all I'm saying. Spit it out, dude. Hello. Don. Yes. Don, my name's Danny. I'm calling on some commercial space. I would like to talk lease terms. I'm interested in renting from you. Uh, so I, I don't have super great cell service where I'm standing. I hope you can hear me. I can um, hear every word. Space? Coin laundromat there that looks like it went defunct. And that is what I'm intrigued by. And, I, you know, this isn't okay. just because we found an, an empty closed store. It's because that's what I've been doing for 20 years is coin laundromats. So if, it, oh, cool. if, the, if the rent makes sense, I'm fully aware of what we need to spend on equipment. And I also am aware that we will have a leg up because the infrastructure is already in place, if that makes sense. But I don't know. If, if the rent also needs to be commensurate for a laundromat. We're not currently buying buildings. I'm just interested in leasing the space. We're local to Reno. We want to become your guarantor, spend a ton of money on washers and dryers, and make a go of it. Well, sounds good. Um, did you see the listing? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's on Loop. I think it's on LoopNet, or maybe it hasn't been put up yet, because it's just pretty recent that they vacated. Nope. Um, I'm somewhere where I can't even write anything down. Do you want to send me your info in an email and I can send you back the square footage. And, to be honest, uh, I'd rather not. I can hear you perfectly, Don. And uh, what's your position? Are you the landlord? Do you own the building? Do you work for them? Um, I am one of the owners. And, okay, uh, good. So without, yeah. I, I understand if you're at a function, but here we are, both of the power brokers that want to make this happen. Without the exact square footage, I just need to know what your asking rate is. And if you're not crazy and I'm not crazy, we'll write you a letter of intent. Do you know what your asking rate is? Um, the only thing I, I don't know anything standing here because I'm on a construction site and I honestly can't remember, but I'd be happy to email it to you. The, uh, I could tell you what the last pe last tenants were paying, but that may have nothing to do with what would make sense for you. And well, the last so then tenants, probably the best. The last tenants failed. The last tenants were topped well, out at their rate of rent. I mean, I, I get the game, dude. I, I've been, I've got yep. 36 laundromats in three states. So we need to reset that lease. And again, it, it has to make sense for me to spend the money on washers and dryers. And so maybe, maybe I'm the guy that pokes you and says, hey, no laundromat can pay that rate of rent. It's not what is normal, commensurate, or what is the rate for the area or the neighborhood? It's the rate for a laundromat. That's what has to make sense for us. So I, I don't know, but but I'm not going to write an LOI and get ignored. I just need to know where you're at. Well, we wouldn't ignore it. We'll get you. We'll, we'll give you. We'll seriously consider whatever you propose. There are two other laundromats looking at it that seem to be interested, but we'll be happy to take a look at what would make sense for you, and if we can make it work, great. My first inclination when you tell me there are two other laundromats is to tell you to have, you know, good luck. Uh, I'm not a broker. I don't sell my stores. I'm also not a distributor. I don't want to build a laundromat and then sell it to someone else and stick you with a tenant who doesn't know what they're doing. Beware of that. Well, that's, that's what happened with the last tenant, actually. Hallelujah. The Lord certainly does work in mysterious ways. How did I know? Dude, this, you don't frequent laundromats, let me guess. I don't frequent uh, laundromats. I don't go into laundromats every week and do my laundry. So investors get robbed blind because they buy a laundromat or they purchase one through a third party straw purchase where the distributor is trying to sell equipment in place. That's not us. My group, we're looking to become the operator at a reasonable rate. We can, I can email you. But I, I just want to know, what's your asking rate here? I, I honestly don't remember. Okay. I'm out of town. This uh, is your I'm, cell phone. I'm, I'm, Go ahead and text me your yeah. email address. I'll send you an email with, with photos of my stores, what we do. We're not in an LOI phase. Call me when you're back on the ground and we'll talk. 
Well, I can send you my email right now. That's easy uh, since I do have yeah, internet service. But text I, it to me. Yeah. Text me. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. What's, tell me, tell me your name again. Done. You understand the way that this works. I mean, let me just ask you: Who is Don? What kind of negotiator is Don? No, I hung I'm up on that. him. Okay. Yeah, he's. Uh... He's clearly not in the game. Well, he is in the game. He's one of the owners. He's well, yeah, but he's big time. His head's he's, not, he's not on a construction site. He's not a construction <laughs> site. He's at Martha's okay. Vineyard or something. You could hear the women in the background drinking wine. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know why people say that. If you call me and I answer the phone and I say, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm boarding a plane. Why would I answer? Right. You're correct. He, he is a player, but he's not good at the game. That's all I'm saying. Spit it out, dude. What's the rate of rent? Well, I could tell you what they were paying. No, you can't. You can't tell me what they were paying because it's a joke. And then, oh, well, they probably... I have two other offers. My first inclination, if it were me, if this were me negotiating, I'd say, all right, good luck. Bye-bye. At the end there, I did hang up on him, didn't I? When he's still blathering. I, I didn't get your name. Well, that's your fault. You don't have a pen. You're on a construction site. You're not on a construction site. I don't, I, right. don't, I don't care. I don't care not because it's you. I care more than you know. Trust me. I'm very passionate about every call I make and every deal that you make. But there comes a fine line when, when they start to BS or he just won't spit out what his rate of rent is. It's like, all right, I'll get two other offers. No, you don't. Should have made the deal already. Oh, yeah, well, that's what happened this time. Oh, look, he already sent his email address. Yeah, I bet. Happy to figure out a lease terms that will work for you. Thank you, Don, and his email address. So this, this whole thing is a game. The minute you think it's not, you're wrong. I will email him. I will CC you. Fairly perfect. Yes, it is. Big space. They've done their job and cleaned it all up and done the thing. I'm pretty sure this hot water heater's got a few more good years left in it.